Don Karayuki and the Ministry of Water and Sanitation now hopes to complete a cleanup exercise of the heavily polluted Nairobi River by December 2023. Despite previous attempts to restore the county's water bodies hitting a snag, the government through the Ministry of Water has expressed confidence in its clean strategy that leverages use of communities living along the river to help in rejuvenating it. Gloria Milimo reports. The Nairobi River, a flowing mess of raw sewage and other contaminants, a muck that poses a threat to the health and well-being of the residents. From the failed previous attempts, it appears that restoring the county's river is not a walk in the park. <laughs> However, the government now, through the Ministry of Water and Sanitation, says its cleanup initiative is on. It has segmented the river into six parts for the exercise. It says it will leverage the use of communities living along the river to take lead in its restoration. Out of the 40 kilometers, only 15 kilometers of the river have been cleaned. The government says it is seeking to restore the ecosystem of rivers in Nairobi by December 2023. Years of pollution have made the river a display of open disregard for the environment as individuals and businesses continue discharging untreated effluent and toxic waste into the river. We are very much aware of the products that come from this river basin. We are the consumers, whether you live there or not. So when we are talking about public health issues, when we are talking about the complaints that come from our counties about the cancer cases that are linked to the river basin, we are all involved. And this is the reason we are here to do this together, because we are all involved. It is not just an issue for uh, the communities that live along the river. To counter this wanton acts of pollution, the Nairobi Rivers Commission says it will require at least 22 billion shillings to achieve this dream. Catchment protection and restoration, mapping and reclaiming the riparian land, waste to rivers, and here looking at solid waste, sewerage, industrial and institutional waste, and drainage and hydrology. So those are the what we are calling the immediate activities to address the pollution to the rivers and protect the catchment areas. Through the Commission, the government hopes to reclaim rivers that empty their waters into the Nairobi River. Four counties, including Kiambu, Machakos and Makweni, were selected to participate in the restoration activities of the Nairobi Rivers Commission. The cleanup of Nairobi River has seen its best and worst. Currently, the state of this river has been worsened. If I get the resources I'm looking for, and I'm sure, I have no doubt I'm going to get it, this city in three years will be different. The late former environment minister, John Michuki, seems to be the only one who came close to achieving a total cleanup of this river. Another man who came a distance second is the late Mutula Kilonzo. During his tenure as environment minister, Kilonzo promised to swim in this river. This never came to be as he died without realizing it. As the city prepares for high-level delegates for the Africa Climate Summit, the Nairobi River remains a flowing testament of Kenya's dark commitment to the environment. Gloria Milimu, KTN News.